Now that we've learned the basics of reading notes on the staff, let's talk about how we notate rhythm. So we use a system of notation that represents duration. Basically what this means is we have certain symbols that are going to tell us how long to hold particular musical events for. So I want to introduce you to three rhythmic friends. The first friend is the whole note. The whole note is any rhythmic event that we play that is going to last for four beats or pulses. How fast is a beat or pulse? As long as it's steady, a beat or pulse can either be fast or slow or anywhere in between. The trick is that they have to remain steady. You'll notice that the whole note is an open note head and again lasts for four beats or pulses. A metronome is a tool that musicians use to help us keep time. You could put this app on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, or you can purchase a metronome. But a metronome is a key tool for us as we learn how to count and how to play in time. So a whole note is any musical event that lasts for four beats or pulses. So I'll count us in and I'm going to sing a whole note. One, two, three, four. I held it for four beats. I think I probably should have that looked at. The next rhythm that we're going to learn is the half note. The half note looks just like a whole note, except it has a stem that goes either up or down. The half note is worth two beats or pulses. Once again, I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and sing half notes for you. Each one will last for two beats. One, two, three, four. I definitely need to have that looked at. The last rhythm that we're going to learn is something called a quarter note. Each quarter note is going to last one beat or a pulse. So the click of the metronome at this point is giving us quarter notes. A quarter note looks just like a half note. It has a stem. The stem can go up or down. It doesn't matter. But the note head has been colored in. So here we go. Quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I definitely am going to have to call somebody. The only other thing that we need to know to read these rhythms is how they're going to fit into music. What we use is a system of notation based on something called bar lines and measures. So below, you'll see an example of bar lines and measures. The vertical lines are bar lines, and they separate measures. Measures give us a way so that we can communicate about a particular place in the piece. We all need to look at measure four. That would be the fourth measure of the piece. In the example below, you also notice at the very end of the piece is a double bar. The double bar tells us that the piece is finished and we're done. These are the basics to rhythm reading. When you combine these with note reading, you can now start to look at pieces of music and learn how to play them.